Hi everyone! Today, we are going to demonstrate an experiment on the composition of group 2 nitrates. In this experiment, we are going to use boiling tube, Bunsen burner, test tube holder, moist blue and red litmus paper, wooden splinter, a spoon, hydrated calcium nitrate, hydrated magnesium nitrate, and strontium nitrate. For your information, this experiment will be conducted by using strontium instead of barium because barium is easily oxidized and harmful. Besides, we will be performing the experiment on a very small scale in a fume cardboard. We are about to begin the experiment. First of all, we will use 1 spoon of hydrated calcium nitrate, 1 spoon of hydrated magnesium nitrate, and 1 spoon of strontium nitrate. And then, we will transfer the substances into a test tube. Next, we will heat the hydrated calcium nitrate gently with small fume until anhydrous calcium nitrate is formed. After that, we use big flame to heat the anhydrous calcium nitrate. We will observe the color of gas that is formed throughout the heating process. Next. This moist red and blue litmus paper will be placed near the mouth of the test tube to check if the compound form is in acidic or basic condition. Then, we will use a glowing wooden splinter to test the presence of oxygen. We then repeat the experiment using magnesium nitrate and strontium nitrate. Generally, the decomposition of group 2 nitrates produces white solid and brown gas. To determine whether a colorless gas is present, a glowing wooden splinter is placed into the mouth of the boiling tubes. The color of the blue litmus paper changes from blue to red, indicating that the substance formed is in acidic condition. The white solids formed from the decomposition of magnesium nitrate, calcium nitrate, and strontium nitrate are magnesium oxide, calcium oxide, and strontium oxide respectively. Calcium nitrate decomposes slower than magnesium nitrate. However, the decomposition of calcium nitrate is faster than the decomposition of strontium nitrate. This is because calcium nitrate is more stable to heat than magnesium nitrate, but it is also less stable to heat than strontium nitrate. How much you need to heat the nitrate depends on how polarized the ion is. If it is highly polarized, we need less heat than if it is only slightly polarized. The smaller the positive ion, the higher the charge density and the greater effect it will have on the nitrate ion. To compensate for that, we have to heat the compound more in order to persuade the nitrogen dioxide to break free and leave the metal oxide. In other words, as we go down the group, the nitrates become more thermally stable. In conclusion, Going down group 2, the element becomes more stable to heat, thus requiring more heat energy to decompose. That's all from us. Hope you guys enjoy the video.